I was aware of two things as I wrote this book. One was that the dominant interpretation sort of made Bonhoeffer a character that fit the theory of Reinhold Niebuhr about realism. That is, Bonhoeffer was a pacifist earlier in his theological life when he was less mature theologically, perhaps less mature as a human being, and that when he then confronted the horrible realities of the Third Reich, especially the Holocaust against the Jews, that he adjusted his theological ethic and became what is often referred to as a realist. And thus, as a realist, um, he was affirming of the use of violence, at least in certain situations. So I think it is easier for a lot of people to see Bonhoeffer as the sort of realist that would shift his views once he became more conscious of the horrible realities in the Third Reich. Uh, the problem is there's no textual evidence for that, that he shifted his views to some sort of realism. In fact, we argue in the book that if you look carefully at his book, Ethics, that it's quite clear that he did not define realism in the way that his former teacher Reinhold Niebuhr did. He specifically distanced himself from Niebuhr's views. He didn't like Niebuhr's uh, social ethics. So I don't think there's any textual evidence that he adopted Niebuhr's views. And furthermore, there's nothing from his life that indicates that he shifted his life in a way that he needed to write about it uh, in terms of ethics that would justify such a shift.